All right, right off the bat, I want you to understand that there are four lobes of the liver. If I turn this around, you'll be able to appreciate the right lobe of the liver, which is much bigger than the left lobe. Back again, you have the quadrate lobe and the caudate lobe. So caudate, quadrate, right lobe, and left lobe. And again, the right side is much bigger than the left. These lobes are separated by a ligament, and depending on the region of the ligament, it has a name. For example, this is the falciform ligament, but if you follow it around, on the very top, it becomes the coronary ligament. That again, if we follow it anteriorly, take a look, it becomes the round ligament. So round ligament, falciform ligament, and coronary ligament. Diving into the liver one more time, we're going to discuss about the main structures that we see. This green sac, that is called the gallbladder. And the main responsibility of the gallbladder is to store bile. The liver produces bile and it is stored in the gallbladder. A common misconception is that the gallbladder is what produces bile, but that is incorrect. You must remember that the liver produces bile and it is stored in the gallbladder. This structure, that is the hepatic artery proper in the bright red. And in the pinkish color, this is the hepatic portal vein. Collectively, the hepatic portal vein, the hepatic artery proper, and the common bile duct, these three structures make up the porta hepatis. Porta hepatis is Latin for the door of the liver. If you speak a Latin-based language, you must know that porta means door, and hepatis is referring to the liver. So these three structures are the entry to the liver. This purple color right here is representing the inferior vena cava. Moving on to this great anatomical model, you can appreciate the right and the left hepatic ducts on the color green. When the right and the left hepatic ducts meet, they create the common hepatic duct. Remember that the gallbladder has its own duct called the cystic duct. So when the cystic duct meets the common hepatic duct, they create the common bile duct. Again, the common bile duct is the union between the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct. This is showing you the pancreas, and more specifically the white is representing the pancreatic duct. When the pancreatic duct and the common bile duct come and meet together, they are regulated by a hepatopancreatic sphincter. Hepato means liver and pancreatic is referring to the pancreas, and the sphincter is regulating how much of the pancreatic juices and the bile is being delivered to the duodenum or duodenum, which is the first aspect of the small intestine. The hepatopancreatic sphincter is also known as the sphincter of Odi. Lastly, number 13 and number 12 are representing your minor duodenal papilla and your major duodenal papilla. Remember that the major duodenal papilla is inferior to the minor, meaning that the minor duodenal papilla would be on the top. All right, everyone, this is the end of this video. So if it did help you, please consider to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below as I do read every single one of them. Thank you and I hope that you have the best of luck for your upcoming tests.